else though that I was pretty impressed with and that after I say this it will mean more um was one of the Haas drivers yeah. <laughs> who were expecting to be like in the back of the grid they actually got one point this weekend but K-Mags K-Mags drove really really well he like really followed team orders he really helped give you know Hulk a good um gap to stay in the points um but he drove really really well I am sure that everyone who was stuck behind him in that train of drivers hates Kevin Magnuson's guts <laughs> right now because he like there there was one point where he, they showed him in the car and they showed him like deliberately slowing down to like push Akon back mm-hmm. while working to give um Hulkenberg enough of a gap so that when he ultimately pitted he wouldn't be caught behind everyone um and just you know gave Haas room to keep that P10 um but it was I am sure that that was the most frustrating race for everyone like it even got to the point that like Daniel Ricardo and Valtteri Botas who were way way in the back like they even got caught up in it yeah. because he was just it really reminded me of Fernando Alonso's DRS train in Monaco last season yeah. um where Fernando woke up and said i'm going to cause problems on purpose and and kevin <laughs> and kevin really did violence. that yeah yes no, it's uh it was a really good drive though from k mags i mean he didn't score points but he helped his teammate get a point so haas is off the list of teams without the possibility to get points this season because they have one point yeah um, alpine i i don't think they're gonna get a point I, I think Alpine's best performer this year is going to be F1 Academy's Abby Pulling, but we'll talk about her in a few minutes. Um, I do also want to add, and this is something to know for, for this season, is Kevin Magnuson, he did this and, and really sacrificed his his you know finishing position for Nico Hulkenberg because he ended up nabbing um, 20 seconds worth of penalties. Um, one of them Didn't was- Esteban Ock on a run for his money. I know, SD Bestie's really been good this year because his car is just terrible. Um, but Kevin Magnuson, his first set of 10-second t- penalty was from causing a collision with Alex Albon. And then the second was he left the track and gained advantage. And I think this was against Yuki Tsunoda. Um, and that used to be a five-second penalty, but due to the driver's insistence, it is now 10 seconds. Um, so putting himself in that position. He's like, okay, well, I got 10, 20 seconds of penalties on me, so I'm just going to ruin everyone else's day in favor of my teammate. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I do really enjoy K-Mags. I wish he had a better car, but... Yeah. I'm nice. I'm a little bit worried. I think he is the, the most vulnerable Haas driver to losing his drive uh, yeah. after this season. That's just... That's kind of the, the vibes that I'm getting right now. 